Hello, welcome to another Parts Factory Australia installation tutorial video. Guys, working on the Hyundai Gets. Today we're going to be changing the brake stop switch. Now, if you've had a sudden uh, issue with your brake lights, both of them at once not coming on, you've already checked your fuse and you've found that it's not working, this is definitely the problem. Very, very common issue with the Hyundai Gets, guys. If you need it, they're $38.30 on the website, free express price anywhere in Australia. Jump on there, order it to your front door, and then yeah, use this video to learn how to throw it in your car. Alrighty guys, let's jump into it. Alrighty guys, so I've just swapped over to my um, phone camera. So it is quite uh, hard to get in and under this area. So you wanna cruise in, um, to, so basically you can see your brake pedal there. I'll see if I can just reposition that light a bit. There you go. Now you'll have, this, you'll have a notice or you'll have a, you'll be able to see the brake stop switch almost straight away. Um, basically, as you depress this lever, you can see that white tab is released and essentially as soon as you press it, the uh, car will um, illuminate its uh, brakes, rear brake lights, and if you have an automatic, it will also allow you to change it um, from park to drive, etc, etc. So, as you can imagine, this sensor is actually quite important for a number of reasons. Now, to, to remove it, you can just put your hand up. I just want to see if I can film it at the same time. You can actually just squeeze that and then um, grab at the switch. Sometimes, anyway. Okay, if you can't undo it by hand, then you will have to proceed to undoing it with a spanner. Sometimes you can actually just turn them by hand, which would obviously um, be easier, but yeah, go and grab a spanner. Guys, before we go any further, I just wanted to show you the parts factory equivalent here. As you can see, as you saw, these are an OEM exact replica. So if it's something that you need, uh, definitely cruise onto the Webby. The link will be in the description of this video. Guys, the spanner you're gonna need appears to be a 15 based on the parts factory one, so. Alrighty guys, so I hopped under here with the 15 mil and I basically put it onto this section here undid that so at that point the whole switch just screws out as you can see and you can put your hand up in there keep screwing keep screwing and you will notice that it'll want to fall off and there it is there guys guys so come back over to your workbench uh second in newy let's go and throw the new one in Sometimes they will require adjustment. Basically you adjust this screw here and then tighten it up by hand. That way, if the if it's all in the right position and you haven't got your foot on the brake, then these lights won't be on. So, so screwing it back in in the same fashion as we unscrewed it. Like so, and then you can see just there how when this um, brake pedal isn't depressed, that white tag is hardly being pushed in. So let's adjust it a little bit more. You can un back off that um, bolt there and then continue to screw it in. Okay, so at that point, I'm thinking it's gonna be a bit better. Yep, so you can see how you can even hear the click. Then you grab your spanner and of course, give it a nice tighten. I don't need to be too tight. Of course, once you've done that, just plug it in like so. Like that and you should hear an audible click and that would be job complete. Alrighty guys. It's as simple as that, the whole thing in and out in about two minutes. If you can undo it by hand, it might even be even quicker. So definitely worth doing all that yourself, guys. Just imagine all of the money just saved by get, getting this job done yourself rather than going to a mechanic. Mechanic's gonna upsell you on the part itself and charge your labor for what was essentially a two minute job. So guys, if you have appreciated this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you can, sub to the channel. We've got heaps of get stuff. Uh, if you have other cars, if you do your own DIY repairs, definitely worth having us in your utility belt. 
for next time. Alrighty guys, my name's Lucas. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.